Okay. Well, let's see. What we are discussing here is some details about synthetic geometry. This may be fairly short. Um, the issue is whether how to handle the evaluation of geometric assertions. So what is this? So this is the triangle with sides A, B, and C. Why is that? There are many such triangles, right? Am I very confused? What with, what with natural orientation? I mean, we don't have something like mod E2. Right. I mean, the, the Foo triangle guys all give something, I believe, with a corner at the origin, right? So And oriented along the x-axis. I mean, otherwise they wouldn't be graphically displayable if it would be the equivalent classes, mod rotations and translations. No, I understand that. I understand that. I think it's good that they are. I'm just, I'm wondering why the, I mean, if I, so if I were to say, um, I didn't even know this worked. This is cool, actually. Okay. So I don't understand why that's like that. You, you, it's it, able, it's non-trivially. Right, and it's going, it's going counterclockwise, right, from the origin. Um, counterclockwise from the origin. That's very hard to understand. So look at the ref page. There's still a bunch of normalizations it needs to do. Like it has to put it somewhere, it has to pick an orientation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With A at the origin. A, which is adjacent, which is the opposite angle to that. Okay. I get it. A little odd, but yeah, I get it. Okay. Okay, geometric solve and geometric solve value. What is this here? I mean, let's go back to what's the issue at hand. The issue at hand was email from you a while ago where you asserted that there was one line and there was a parallel line and they were parallel. And you expected to get true, that it would evaluate rather than just state the thing. But I see, I see. Within geometric scene, we only want statements. We don't want evaluation. We just want to state things, even trivial things, because we might want to plot them, we might want to style them. They don't shouldn't kind of evaporate away. Okay, so your claim is that if I do this, that the correct behavior is absolutely nothing. Exactly. Oh. Are we correct. sure we don't want to blob this in any way? That output, I mean, just as a display thing. I have no opinion on this. I mean, maybe, but I don't. I'm not sure we gain very much, right? I mean, the the point is that this is in a you know sort of an assertion of things, and you know if you, we hide what you're asserting, it becomes much less useful. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, it's just. Well, that looks like a bug, <laughs> or is percent? You have to evaluate the... yeah. Oh, I, I did something goofy here. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, right, if you wanted to just get false, you'd use geometric solve value. Okay, but so explain to me. Okay, so here, so here, if I change that to two, I'll get true. Okay. Are you sure it shouldn't be geometric resolve? <laughs> we had this discussion, but because we wanted geometric solve anyway to solve for things, we thought this is kind of solve for something. But we had this discussion if resolve is not a little bit better suited. Right. I, my main, I mean, my main argument against resolve, and it's you know not a super strong opposition, but resolve is. You know, our resolve resolves quantifiers, and we don't have any quantifiers, quantified statements in general here. Right. Why has this got double list brackets? Um, 
because that would be multiple solutions in principle, just like solve. Right. So Thank having you. the left hand side here be that whole geometric assertion seems quite odd. Right. Well, so normally solve in this case would, uh, I think, just return an empty list or a empty double list. Um, so I just added that in there. Um, not a strong opinion on that. So if you do like solve of true. I am completely confused by this result. Why are x, y, why are the x and y values in a separate sublist from the z value? That's a separate solution. Right. Right. So this was uh, just oh. hitting it with solve um, at the end. So yeah, there's a separate solution if x is not zero or if x is zero. Wait a minute, if x and y are zero, then I understand z, they're not collinear. One and z. Then, and then you have two points, zero, zero, right. and one comma z. Right. Trivially collinear. Oh, I see, I yeah. see, I see, I see, they are collinear, okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, it seems like probably the thing you'd more be looking for would be geometric solve value, which is the, the, the last part of this list we show. That, that just gives true or false or... Well, what's that doing? That's pretty weird. That's a condition. Right. Um, so if, if you, for instance, uh, had concrete values of X, Y, and Z where this was collinear. No, I understand it will give true or false. Right. But I don't understand this. I mean, that's a very different thing, Roger, from our other value-like things which give values. But we're oh, giving the value of an assertion. Oh, you're right. 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 So, okay. I guess the more interesting question is: Could would this improve? Could we give you know solve variables in principle here? In which case, you could get for z in terms of y and x when this assertion is true. Um, Right, so this is a one argument form. Could we have a two argument form where you specify what to solve for? I think yes, because we want to use geometric solve in the generic case for things like solve the length of a triangle edge or solve, solve for radius. Yeah, and you don't want to be generating everything. We want the two argument form to be a geometric scene and the thing to solve for. Right. So maybe the, like solve for these particular variables would be a third argument. That's nice. That's very nice. Okay. Well, I don't think I have any objection to this. Roger, do you have comments on this? This seems very nice to me. Oh, seems uh, okay to me. Uh, the only question I have is: Are you okay? I with... would have had comments if we were going to start evaluating, because then it impacts on a lot of things. Right. Um, <laughs> Are you okay with this uh, this uh, geometric assertion for the geometric solve of something that's that's already true or false uh, of having uh, you know geomet the whole expression go to true or false because that I'm is thank you let's think about that for a moment okay right that is unlike uh, our other solve functions. Let me try to understand this. So normally, it would have some parameter values, for example. Um, it would say, you know, gosh, I'm, help me, w walk me through why this makes sense. I think it's a slightly tricky question. Like right now, we have a certain idea of what are variables uh, in solve. Yeah? Like uh, they're basically, either single symbols or 
symbol of something or nested versions or subscript or something like this. Mm -hmm. Very in theory, we see this a lot on the Alpha website. People ask actually, like they give a set of equations and then say solve for x plus 3y. We can't do this because we cannot solve for things that has plus times power. So, but in general, people want to solve for certain compound objects. So I think it's in the spirit of what people actually do and want. Well, Maybe we should be able to support that. But by the way, can we do it in alpha? Solve for X a little bit, a little bit. So I, I, I mean, I have a comment which is a bit tangential, but also sort of, but also very much getting at this point, which is the the foo value functions that we have take the thing to solve for, but also the expression whose value you want to return. Right. So this one argument form of geometric solve value is a little weird. Um, I mean, I suppose we could have, you know, if you give the one argument form, it's, you know, give the value of the first argument. But the whole one of the big powerful things about the value functions is that, you know, you right. If, if I do desolve value, I can ask for it to give me y and y prime in a list. And that way, I can easily create phase portraits. Um, yeah, right. But I think it's okay that the default for the second argument is just the first argument, which is what's going on here, right? I mean, in fact, and that, again, makes it consistent. This thing with the actual first argument on the left-hand side makes it consistent, I guess. I mean, one could imagine. I think that's okay. Right. I mean, basically, the... The whole reason we uh, we decided to go with these new geometric solve value and geometric solve functions is uh, most of the existing functions require that second argument. And we did not want to. Which exists? You mean as opposed to going for a solve value or something? Um, reduce. Yeah, reduce. Um, like reduce actually lines up somewhat well with what we're doing, except it doesn't have a one argument form. And similar, like Itai pointed out, resolve would be a one argument version, but it typically resolves only quantifiers. And we don't have any at hand. All right, this seems fine. Okay. Seems very nice. Roger, any last comments? No, uh, no, I think this looks fine too. Okay. Traffic. All right. Okay. Very good. Thanks. See you all soon. Okay. Thanks, mate. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye.